Uh, here's a quick video for all my Lime fans. I was just walking past this brick wall, so let's have a quick look. This is a very old brick wall, fairly soft bricks, and you can see evidence of spalling there quite a bit, and you can see how impure those bricks are. I think it was just built with secondhand bricks generally, but this is all lime pointing up here. Just fairly soft lime, and it, you could scrape it out, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with that at all. So the fact that the bricks have gone more than the lime pool to pointing is nothing at all to do with the fact that it's been done with lime. Maybe it's been done with NHL lime. Maybe that is too strong, but it's definitely lime. You can pick it out. At this point down here, they've used sand and cement. And the sand and cement is rock hard. Way too hard for those soft bricks. But can you see any evidence of spalling? Not really. There's no real damage to the brick. There's one there. Looks like it's gonna go eventually. And then you can see where the pointing is missing so you can see how deep that pointing was there sorry to pick your wall apart people <laughs> anyway i'll go and point it for them so here's the other thing if you've got bricks that are decaying and you need to replace them then obviously having lime mortar is a much better option than having cement mortar because if you've got to replace the cement you will find that you do quite a lot of damage to the brick. Lime is great in that respect that you can just keep renewing bricks ad infinitum. And there you see a little crack appearing going down through the bricks, down to the ground. That's a crack that starts in the lime. So normally the lime would accommodate that. But in this case, maybe that bit of sand and cement has held it rigid. I can't believe that actually, because that is that pointing is not deep at all. Anyway, that's just another little thing to add to the debate. I will be coming back to do something pretty extensive on lime, lime mortars, and we'll talk to a few experts, because I know there's so many people out there who say, this bloke knows nothing, he's an idiot. Well, there you go.